Good morning, everyone. So I didn't do an evening video last night because there wasn't much to talk about. But today, today is a whole new day. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. <laughs> Feels like a TV show. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, if you're wondering what this madness is about, it's down in the description box below. You can take a look, have a little read, see what it's all about. But, uh... Yeah, so the news. All right, so this morning I was uh, hanging out and I just happened to look out my front window. And if you've been watching along, you'll know that I have a little experiment going on because upper management loves crows. We named our business after them. So I put out this little board of food, right, to kind of experiment to see what kind of animals I could draw in. I know this is really lame, right? And um, my hope was that I could get some crows to come about. And this morning, I was looking out my kitchen window. Lo and behold, there were crows. There were crows eating my peanuts. I felt so excited and so happy. There were three of them. They kept coming around really slowly, coming up and pecking at the peanuts and then hopping back, flying off with them. You can see they left some of the shells where they were shelling them. They're really, really crappy peanuts. I don't think they were finished. I don't think they finished cooking or something. We got two bags of them from Rural King, and they tasted either stale or not quite finished. Like, they were chewy. They weren't crunchy peanuts, like I know and love. So, um, uh, yeah. So, there were two whole bags of them. Two big, huge bags of them that we picked up, and... I didn't know what to do with them, so I was like, hmm, let's see what we can do. And of course it's rained, so this this grain is going to, uh, is going to rot quickly, and the peanuts will too. But, um, the crows were into them. They eat quite, they ate quite a few. Not a lot, but a few. So, that's cool. I, they acted like it was a trap, though. That was what was funny. They acted like it was some kind of trick. So, <laughs> that was kind of cute. What's going on, pecans? <clears throat> How is everyone this fine morning? Yeah, you guys were, were not happy about the crows, were you? Fiddle said, let me at them. Let me at them. Wow, the, it's very, very wet down here. We had a lot of rain. Looks like uh, things are growing. My grass is growing in very nicely. Yes, yes, very cool, very cool. Thank you to our 145 subscribers. Woohoo! You guys rock. You rock and roll. Rock and roll hoochie coo. Rock and roll hoochie coo. Little, who was that? Was that uh, a Derringer? What was his name? Was it Bobby? Rick? I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah. I don't know if anyone knows who did that one comment below someone can look it up right or someone may know off the top of their head I can't remember who that was anyway hello Frenchies oh no your food got soaked friends how did that happen thought I had that latched I guess not oh calm down Calm down, chickens. Looks like they stayed pretty dry in there. Good, 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 good. These little covers are pretty awesome, I'll have to say. I've been very impressed with these little these little kennel covers. I think they were like 20, 25 bucks maybe, 20 or 25 dollars at Rural King, or uh, Amazon. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Amazon. Not Rural King. Rural King wouldn't carry anything that cool. But, uh, yeah, very nice. They come in all different colors. I prefer gray because I wanted to match the tarpaulin that they sent with, uh, with the kit. So, very cool. All right, so um, I've talked about it several times, but make sure you guys are looking forward to big announcements coming soon about changes going on here at Camp Friendly Feather in Cluckersburg. Some big things are happening, guys. So stay tuned for news on that. 
It's probably going to be about another two weeks before everything is 100% and I can share with the world. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, pumped. I'm here to pump you up. I'm here to pump you up. Okay, so yesterday, oh my gracious, you guys, yesterday we had seven eggs. Seven eggs. It's the first day that we've had more than six. And there's only been like three or four days that we've had six. So that's pretty big news. That's pretty big deals right there. Let's see if we have any yet today. Oh, it's a bit it's a bit dark in here. We'll turn our our lumen assistance on. Let's see. Again. See, I'm I'm holding out hope that maybe one of these quails is female. I I don't think it is. I think that they're all male. I really do. I really think they're all male. Because they are going to be... They're going to be seven weeks old this week. Maybe eight. And I've not seen nary an egg. And they're supposed to start laying at six weeks. So... Time's a ticking, little friends. I don't think there's any girls in the bunch. But we'll see. <clears throat> Goodness, excuse me. Faker, faker, Studa baker. Nothing, nothing. Girls, get to work. It's early, so. Yeah, they're they're late day eggers. Yeah, I see what you're doing in there. You got nothing for me. Nothing for me. What's up, Falky Balky? I had a dream last night that Falky Balky went missing. I just remember, just realized that. Oh, goodness, Falky Balky. You've got a bit of debris in your butt fur. I know, I know. You guys want to go out all the time. I have Operation Green Green Grass that I've got, uh, I've started working on. Oh, Falky Balky, going to go in to lay an egg, are you, Gail? Gailie Gail? What? Jack, what are you doing? Hit the road, Jack. Lay an egg, Jack. There you go. Get in there. Lay an egg. Get in there, Falco. Falky Balky, lay an egg. There you go. What's up, Faddle Waddle? I love this condor. I wish you were a chicken. <laughs> She's a chicken. She lays eggs. She lays nice, pretty, big blue eggs, don't you, girl? She's beautiful. They're like robin's egg blue. Yeah, they're, they're big. She's laid a couple double yokers, and this one has two. This one laid her egg in the corner yesterday. I'm going to send you to the principal's office. Talk about that. There's Laddie, little Laddie, Lateralis, with the white ears, and that's Jack. I wouldn't be surprised if Jack flew over my head and, like, tried to get out, because Jack is an escape artist. Every time I open the door to, to fix their food or get, get them some water or something, it, he's or she is trying to bounce out. Man, we have a, they're all lined up. Battle doesn't like to be touched. Battle's a, she's a lonely, she's a lone chicken. What's up, Falco? Yeah. Falco the Great. Falco the Condores. Yeah, Laddie doesn't like to be touched either, but take some of that. <laughs> oh, oh, hey! Gracious sakes! What are you trying to do to the boy? What's up, Parabola? What's up? You don't like to be touched either. Ah, get manhandled. Ah. Oh, you've got some gross feet. You've been out there in the mud. Fiddle dee 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 dee. What's up, big boy? Don't you peck me, miss. All right, guys. So it's Tuesday. It's Trivial Tuesday, and I forgot to get a card. Oh no, that's okay. We'll do it tonight. I'll, I promise. I'll do it. I'll do a, a show tonight, 
And I will, uh, a show. Really? <laughs> yeah, funny. I'll do a video tonight, and I will, um, I will get a card, and we will do a little, uh, we'll, we'll do a, a question and answer sesh all in one video. So, yeah. Be excited for that. <laughs> Isn't that always fun? All right, guys. Say goodbye to all the pecan chicons. Look at that beautiful bird. Listen, no violence in the hen house. Peace and love, peace and love. We're all about peace and love. Yeah, right. Tell the Frenchies that, right? Unless you're a, unless you're a Faverle, unless you're a Faverl, then it's not peace and love anymore, friends. No more peace and love. All right. Happy Tuesday. Everyone have a great day. Hopefully we get seven or eight eggs today. I'm going to try to... I didn't think this would work, you guys. So I'm going to try to come up with a little better idea. I just threw this out here because I was bored yesterday. So um, it actually worked. I really didn't think that would happen. But I'm going to try to come up with something better. I think they were a little scared by the chickens. So I might move it away a little bit. I move, might move it like... A little farther up that way towards the fence because the dogs don't seem bothered by him so i don't know we'll see what happens all right everyone have a good day bye bye